So Richard, we're here at your yard today. We've watched Elysium Dream work this morning. How is she? Yeah, she was, she was super. You know, it's just because the, the the guys were here and we thought we'd show her doing a bit, bit of work a bit quicker and she did it very nicely with a, another, another nice filly. She's, today's Tuesday and she, she's going to run Saturday so she doesn't need to do too much but she's in great form. And how's she come out of her last success? Oh great, as you can see. She carries a bit of weight anyway. She's had plenty of runs this year but she seems to be getting better and better. I mean, that is definitely her, her best run was her last run. And my God, she chose the right day to, to win her derby. You know, a hundred grand sales race was a fabulous performance and a great part for everyone. So you mentioned the owners, they've been up today. How are they to train for? They're brilliant. Um, Stuart Broad has been up a couple of times. His mum is very into it. And uh, they came along to Royal Ascot, which was a big thing for them, you know, middle of their year and they managed to find a set and it was run on a Saturday to come and watch her run and she ran probably the race of her life, finished fifth in the Chesham and Owen's very keen, you know, he likes to come up and be involved in the training and the picking of races and it's been a massive success. They've had some good runs and some bad runs, which has been important for them to feel the ups and downs of it. And then a super performance when they're all away at a wedding when she won the 100 grand sales race, that was fantastic. You know, we've had a fabulous time out of her and you know, when you do get the right horse, it's been an absolute pleasure. It sort of becomes like a family wedding every time the horse runs. You know, all the parents, brothers and sisters all come and win or lose, they have a great day. She didn't cost a lot of money. And, uh, you know, it's, got, it's gone really, really well. It's, you know, it's, it's been fabulous. A lot of the lads in the yard, they recognise them. They're, a few of them are Indians, they play cricket. And it's been a huge buzz for them. You know, it's, it's, for once, it's been good for everybody. And you mentioned that she didn't cost that much uh, as an initial investment. Is that indicative of the Phillies market in general? Well, I, th I, I do think the Phillies are pro represent more value now than Colts. And what's more, they have a bit of residual value. If you spend more, it, invariably you get l left with a with a with a product that's worth more because you can breed for them and you can buy them a little easier. And the Phillies only races are there. The Colts are obviously more expensive and. Yeah, we stumbled across this filly just because she was cheap and cheerful and Jono came to me in about February and March, I think, and asked if we had one left to sell and myself and Ross all happened to own her and uh, the cricketers came along and robbed us. Very nice. <laughs>